Hey guys, so I just filmed my makeup collection video and first off I want to say sorry for this lighting right now. Um, we're filming in my room so it's definitely not like as well lit as Kelly's. But yeah, so I guess I have to do the disclaimer that everyone does before they film these videos. Um, I'm definitely not trying to brag. I know a lot of people love watching these types of videos. Um, I know I do, and so does Kelly. And I did. we did get comments saying that um, so our subscribers would love to see them, so that's who this video is for. If you don't like these kind of videos, you can always, you know, exit out of it and just maybe watch another video or wait till we upload another video um so yeah let's just get started okay so this is where I keep all of my makeup and it is stored in this seven drawer acrylic thing and my mother actually got it off of eBay um, she gave it to me for Christmas a couple years ago this is what I store my makeup in Okay, so over here is where I just keep some random kind of face and hair products. I have this three drawer um, set and on top I have this jar that's for I'm at LA in New York, but there's really nothing in it. Um, then I have this little perfume sample. Up here I have this MAC to the Beach body oil and I like to put this on sometimes in the summer to make my tan skin already look tan. Then I just have some hair products and some empty Lush jars. And in here I have just some lip products thrown in here, some lip care. In here I have my eye primers and two paint pots. Okay, so in this last drawer I just have some random things like some bobby pins, some mascara spoolies, some q-tips, and an eye liner, sharpener, whatever. And then over here I just have two MAC palettes that I'm not using. And now over here I just have some hair products for my Black Girl Curls. Um, if you guys have curly hair I definitely suggest you try this. It's really nice and I got it at Rite Aid for just I want to say like seven or eight dollars and it's really good. Then I have some nail polish remover, another hair spray thing, um, some brush cleaners, and then just some things for my face like um, this tea tree water toner, a moisturizer that my dog chewed up, and some toners, and a perfume that I try to remember to spray on every day but I don't remember, and then just some more hair stuff. There's a lot of stuff that is required to tame this mane. So let's move on to the actual makeup. So this is where I store my palettes. It's just right next to the container that has the rest of my makeup in it. And I just have, you know, like my Urban Decay Naked palettes, my Lorac Pro palette down there, um, an empty MAC palette. Well, it actually has a bunch of broken eyeshadows in it, but I need to clean it out, so I just keep it there. You know, some Inglot, Kat Von D, Urban Decay, and I have this Z palette filled with just some random eyeshadows. These are actually for Morph brushes. And I just put them in here. And a little Too Faced Natural Eye palette. I really like this, but I find that I don't use it as often as I probably should because it's so beautiful. And then an e.l.f. eyeshadow palette. This is a Shaney Cosmetics palette and another palette just kind of filled with random eyeshadows from... MAC to e.l.f. to anything else. Okay, so up here is where I store all of my face products. And sorry about my nails if they look extra crusty today. I need to do them. But anyway, so back here I have all my foundations. I have some Revlon, Makeup Forever, Maybelline, MAC, CoverGirl. And then over here I have some powders like my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Naturals. And then I have a Studio Fix powder and a Makeup Forever powder down there. And then a Bare Minerals foundation, some Milani concealers, and then another L'Oreal powder down there. Here I have Studio Moisture tints from MAC, which I really like, but I need to repurchase. And my favorite concealer, well one of my favorite concealers that I still need to repurchase because it's running out. 
And then some primers over here. I really need more primers, but I don't know which ones are good. So, I mean, if you guys have any suggestions, definitely comment down below. And then over here, I just have some sample Urban Decay Naked Skins. Um, this was actually, like, a Halloween makeup kit thing that I got from Party City. But I like to use this bottom color to contour with. I find that it's really nice. And then sometimes... I'll highlight my brow bone with this top color. Then I just have two more concealers right here, a Bobbi Brown one and a MAC one, and then a Makeup Forever HD powder. Okay, so this is my blush and bronzer drawer. So over here I have some MAC blushes along with a MAC Mineralize Skin Finish Natural in, I think it's in Sun Power, and I use this as a bronzer sometimes. Then I have a you know, some Stila and some Tarte blushes. Um, my NARS blushes are over here. Then I have a Milani and a Forever 21 bronzer. Um, here's another Milani blush. And then my Maybelline Dream Bouncy blushes. And then over here I just have some, like, um, Benefit Posy Tints and Watts Up and then this elf all over stick. I have some Revlon back there, some NYX. Um, these are just kind of like no name brands that I got at a local beauty store. An elf blush, um, more Milani, and then some Wet n Wild blushes right here. And then just some other blushes. I don't actually remember where I got these from, but I mean they're there. And then back here, I have some Maybelline Dream Mousse blushes. So this next drawer has um, some of my high-end eye products, my eyeshadows, really. Um, right here, I have an Urban Decay palette. And then under that are the MAC palettes that I use with all the eyeshadows in them that I use. And then I have my Naked Cosmetics pigments right here, which I absolutely love. They're so amazing, and I can't wait to get more at eye mats. And then some MAC quads and uh, some more MAC eyeshadows. Um, under that I have an Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. And then some MAC sample um, pigments. Um, just some other MAC eyeshadows, like some mineralized eyeshadows. And then I have these Too Faced um, eyeshadows. They're really pretty. They're like duochrome. I got them at iMats last year, but I don't really know how to make a look with them. I have an old matte quad here, some um, just other bases, and my Makeup Forever um, Aqua Creams. These are really nice too. I have a Too Faced um, palette that was actually a Sephora like um, 500 point perk. And then right there, I just have my Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I really want to get the one with, like, nude colors. Kelly told me about that, and it looks absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so this is where I have all of my drugstore eyeshadows. Um, I have my Maybelline Color Tattoos right here. I really love these. I want to get, like, all of them because they're so nice. And then a Maybelline Color Tattoo Pigment, which is also really nice, and I want to get um, more colors of these. Some Milani Baked Eyeshadows that, I don't know, I don't really like, but then again, I haven't really experimented with them enough. Some e.l.f., L'Oreal, some NYX Shadows, and these are, again, um, eyeshadows from a local beauty store near my house that I got. Um, the Revlon Cream Eyeshadow Quads. Um, some Maybelline eyeshadows, more, um, like, no-name brands, almost. Um, some Almay Wet n' Wild Trios, Maybelline Quads, e.l.f. Quads back here. And then just some more random, um eyeshadow palettes, trios over here. I have some NYX and some Maybelline and some NYX glitters. So this is where I have like my eyeliners and my mascaras and my lashes. So over here I have my eyeliners. Um, over here I have some glitter liners from NYX and some liquid liners from like Maybelline, Milani, NYC, and just a variety of brands. And then over here I have my pencils. I have some from um, Rimmel, 
uh, Shaney Cosmetics, and then this Essence Eyebrow Pencil, NYX, just eyeliners from everywhere pretty much. And then over here I have my mascaras and my cream eyeliners back here. Um, I have my MAC Black Track Fluid Line, a Tarte Cream Eyeliner, and a L'Oreal one. And then some mascaras from L'Oreal, Maybelline, YSL, which is actually this one. And my Makeup Forever Smoky Lash, they actually dried out, but I just keep them in here. So I know that um, I need to repurchase them because these two are two of my absolute favorite mascaras. And I love them so much, but I need to buy them again. And then over here I just have some lashes. I have some Red Cherry, some Inglot, and then some ones they brought back for me. And then just some lash glue. And that is it for this drawer. Okay, so in here I keep all of my high-end lip products. And I separate my makeup from high-end and drugstore just so it's kind of easier to know which drawer to go to to get a certain product. And over here I have my lipsticks, which are mostly MAC. I don't really buy lipsticks from any other brand, so I should probably branch out more. But I do have a Lime Crime lipstick, a YSL, a Tarte lip stain, and a Dior lip glow. And then I have some lip tars back there and some MAC lip conditioners. And then over here I have my high-end lip glosses. I have my Stila lip glazes right here, Urban Decay Pocket Rockets, and then just some random lip glosses from like Laura Mercier, some MAC, some Sephora. And then I keep a couple lip liners. I have just some MAC and some NYX. So this is my drugstore lip products, and over here I have my um, lip glosses, and I have some Victoria's Secret, some L'Oreal Hip Jelly Balms, and just some Revlon and Milani and Shaney Cosmetics glosses over here, and I have some NYX under there too. And over here I have my lipsticks, I have some Wet n Wild, which I absolutely love, some NYX, and... I have my Revlon lipsticks right here, some Rimmel lipsticks, and then some Maybelline. I think these are the Color Vivids. And then my lip butters are all under there. And then just like a Lush lip tint, which is actually really pigmented. It's really nice. A Nivea lip butter. And then I have some lip stains from like NYX. Um, these L'Oreal ones are super pretty. And then just some like Maybelline and Milani under here. And that is it for my drugstore lip products. And down here I just have some, all of my nail polish in this drawer, but it's kind of hard to open. And we're gonna film a nail polish collection later, so we'll just go through that later. Okay, so these are my brushes, and they're actually right next to my makeup storage, and I just keep them in these cups, and over here I have my eye brushes, and then I have two tweezers just on there, and then I have, um, my face brushes are in these two cups. Um, they're really dirty, so I need to wash them, but yeah, I just keep them here. Okay, so that is it for my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you are new and give this video a big thumbs up. Check us out on Instagram and Twitter at jkbdo8 and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.